Hi and welcome to our auction preview video of Asian Arts for our September 11th auction. We're going to start here with a selection of jade jewelry for the next sale. So we have this beautiful Chinese gilt silver enamel decorated in jade carving bracelet. This is estimated at three to five hundred. We have this selection of jade carving, so a jade bead pendant along with this jade beaded bracelet. This is 18 karat gold and jade pendants. We have this graduated jade beaded necklace with a carved jade pendant out of a rye New York estate. We have this beautiful jade pendant with a gold bale and it's just really nice this color variation here. And here we have a 14 karat gold jade pendant with jade accent beads on a, a long chain. So, well it's stuck here but it's a nice long chain that would look great in a black dress. Um, we have a collection of snuff bottles. These snuff bottles are all from the same estate, including this jade box also. So we have some porcelain snuff bottles. We have a selection of carvings, including jade. This is lapis lazuli. This is some carved hard stone. We have a double snuff bottle, which is really interesting. This is carved amethyst with salmon coral um, stoppers. These are both cinnabar style. Here we have a beautiful jade box. So this is an incised jade pendant, large in size, that was utilized in a hinged box. But if you just see here, I'm just going to rock it back and forth so you can kind of see what the, is displayed in the jade carving. And this is estimated at, I believe, three to five hundred. Additional snuff bottles from the same estate. So we have some porcelain snuff bottles, some reverse painted snuff bottles, um, silver, additional carvings, etc. all from our Rye New York estate. We are going to jump back and take a look at this exceptionally large Japanese Satsuma vase. Um, beautiful depiction of deities here and there's a white dragon and some kind of attendance. It is signed on the underside. So we just want to take a look here. And it is exceptionally detailed and a beautiful display here. A really nice example of Japanese Satsuma. And one of the stars of this month's sale is this beautiful Chinese Republic period Wang Shao Wei vase, very large in size. Um, he is one of the artists for the, uh, one of the imperial artists and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, he's known specifically for his depictions of monkeys, which you can see displayed here. A nice monkey on a branch. I'm going to turn it so that you can see the handles. So we have these nice elephant form handles. And again, take a look at the size here. So it is an unusually large example. Also, before we miss it, there's a figure here in the base kind of looking up at the monkey in the tree. It's a really nice, and as I spin this around, you're going to see the inscription here as well as the signature. So really quite nice. And then again, this landscape scene. So again, an exceptional example of Chinese Republic period art by Wang Xiaowei, a Chinese artist. And this is estimated at 6,000 to 8,000. Chinese enamel decorated vase with these circular frames with characters, yellow ground with this vibrant enamel decoration, some scholars items, flowers, etc. We have this blue and white brush pot with figures and deer. Take a look at the underside here. We have a Chinese, I believe, Republic period also. Square vase, so some landscape scenes, signatures and inscriptions really quite nice. Came in from a Long Island estate. This came in on one of our Walk-in Wednesday appraisal days. So this is a Chinese Fami Verit Kangji um, seated figure on a throne. So this dragon throne, um, really detailed. So you can see all of the open work designs throughout. Take a look at the underside. This is estimated at 1,000 to 1,500. Okay, here we have a selection of blue and white. So we have this blue and white lidded jar um, with the underside here. And then this teapot, really quite nice from the same estate, estimated at three to 500. We have these two, beautiful from our New Jersey estate, um, these yellow ground bowls. So one is Ching Long and one is Zhang Qing. So if you take a look here, this is yellow ground with dragon decoration really quite beautifully done. So a red dragon and some gray or brown dragons. And then we have this a similar bowl, 
yellow ground with flowers. Here we have a nice Fitzhugh plate, so large in size, maybe a charger with the central eagle and then this floral design to the exterior. This is estimated at three to five hundred. Blue and white vase, so this nice baluster vase with floral decoration and then we have the food dog handles. We have these four pieces together, again from our New Jersey estate. So we have two of these bowls similar with applied dragons and bats. One with a white ground and one with this black ground, both decorated with flowers, dragons and bats. A Fami Rose Chinese vase. And then this small Chinese Fami Rose bowl with dragons and phoenixes. This I love. I think because I love the design to the ground. Um, so we have this Chinese enamel decorated brush pot um, and these frames that are decorated with flowers and birds and animals and also all of these inscriptions. Take a look at the underside there is a signature from our Long Island estate. From our Walk-In Wednesday appraisal day this Chinese vase came in. So large Chinese Fami Rose with these kind of mythical beast handles with rings in their mouth um, and then we have a floral decoration with birds. And on the other side, let me just spin this around for you. Again, additional floral decoration with birds. Take a look at the underside here. And this is estimated at 1500 to 2000. A Japanese vase, it is signed to the underside. So this is bronze and it is signed, I believe, Yokama. So interesting at three to 500. We have this uh, Celadon blue and white vase. So again, large in size, let me move this for you with birds and flowers. And then we have the foo dogs together. We have these two crackle glaze vases. Um, they were originally mounted as lamps. So they are holes to the underside of each, unfortunately. Um, so one is Celadon and one of this is this kind of brown crackle glaze. Again, one of my favorite lots in the sale. I love Japanese mixed metal. And this is from the same estate as our Wang Shao Wei vase. So we have this pair of large Japanese mixed metal urns, um, all the same scene on alternating sides. So one is kind of warriors and the other is birds and flowers. We have this Chinese, again, I believe Republic period, enamel decorated plaque with a signature and inscription and kind of a mother and child with some scholars items. And this came from our New Jersey estate. So there's a whole slew of Chinese and enamel decorated plaques and other various Chinese arts from this New Jersey estate, including this bird, which is in a grouping of figures. So it's one bird and a grouping of, I believe, five figures all together at four to 600. This came in on one of our appraisal days and this is a pair of lamps, again, Chinese. This one's quite interesting, decorated with birds and flowers, the food dog handles, but it has these inscriptions and signatures and also this kind of these inscriptions to the bottom of the vase. Okay, in front of our jade screen, we have this pair of beasts, again, from our New Jersey estate. Um, estimated at three to five hundred. There are children seated atop the figures. And then behind it, you can see this wonderful four panel jade screen in this carved wood stand. And with that, this is estimated at 1,000 to 1,500. We have the original receipt and it was purchased for nearly 12,000. And it was purchased in New York in 1998. So that's an interesting lot in the sale. You can see the nice inscription here to the left hand side and then just the beautiful um, decoration throughout and how it transcends each, each panel. Again from one of our Walk and Wednesday appraisal days, we have this wonderful Asian embroidery. So it's really beautifully detailed. Um, I would imagine that there are several stitches included in this piece. So it's figures and birds and flowers in this kind of garden pavilion and this is estimated at 300 to 500. Moving on to some, a selection of the Japanese prints in the sale. We have this one Japanese print, and this is by Hiroshigi, and there's another one included with this by Yoshida. So this is a nice, a little bit of a fading and toning to this print, but really quite nice. There's another Japanese print in the sale, and then we have a selection of prints of ladies. And so these are all by um, Toyokuni, and Utamaro. 
So really quite nice. And there's a whole selection, all the details, individual photos are all available on our website. Here we have a carved jade disc. So you can see on one side there's a landscape scene and on the alternate is kind of this cherry blossom or prunus tree and it's in this beautifully carved stand. Really quite nice. Uh, we have several swords in this sale. One is a samurai sword. The other is a World War II. Um, and this is a Shinjinto sword. Uh, really quite nice. I'm not going to take them out because I don't want to hurt anyone, but here you can see the beautiful blade to this sword, and it is signed. All the details, additional information is, are available on our website. Here are three Edo period subas, so really quite nice. So here's one side and then the alternate, and again all these images can be found online. Another grouping of Japanese mixed metal, which I love, is a grouping of subas, fuchis, and koshiras. So really quite nice selection. This one's particularly beautiful in its display of mixed metal work. Jumping back to one piece of Chinese. So this is a Chinese and this is kenji. It's a yellow and green dish or underplay and it's with qilong and kind of a foliate design and then it does have a six character mark to the underside. This is another Japanese piece in the sale and this is by the artist Aoki Mokube. So with the figures it's double gourd style and there's a signature to the underside. So we're going to move around the room a little bit. So this is a four panel antique Asian screen. It's probably Chinese but it's really got quite nice age to it. So there's just figures kind of in the, again in this garden pavilion outdoor with white and red robes. And this is estimated at four to six hundred. We have this brown stag, really quite nice in size. Large, nice saddle and kind of detailing throughout. We're going to jump over to this Japanese screen. It is signed, a depiction of two hawks, and this does have a label verso, so it is ex Naga Gallery which is a nice provenance. And then we're going to move on to two Chinese enamel decorated plaques and these large carved mounts. So really quite nice at four to 600. And then just walking over here quickly, we're going to touch on this exceptionally large painted Buddha head, came out of a local estate. And then also this folding chair. So you can see here the beautiful carving of the foo dog and kind of a, a chilling here. And then one more piece is over back here. Okay, one of my favorite lots in the sale is this Japanese Nanban style folding screen. So it's just exceptionally well painted um, and it's a Portuguese merchant ship landing. So if you just take a look over here, you can see them unloading the ship and just all these wonderful characters. Like this, is, this is quite funny here, all of these people working and just the way that they're depicted and unusual to see a Portuguese scene di displayed by the Japanese. I mean, if you take a look at the ship here, where are they? There's little funny figures peeking out the windows. Um, they're climbing on the ropes at the top of the ship. It's really quite nice. And I do have copies, so they're just um, emailed versions of the original rec receipts from Portugal and some of the shipping material. Um, so then that wraps it up for the Asian Arts for our September 11th auction. We hope to see you there.